Welcome to my next tutorial. My name is MSD Havoc from MSC Studios. I want to show you today how you can import the Counter-Strike models into your 3D Studio Max, including the movement and the animation of these models. And at first we need an MDLT compiler. And I use here Milkshape 3D. There also exist some other decompilers, but it's very easy to use this with Milkshape. And we have here the point tools and can go to Half-Life and decompile normal HL MDL file. Now we take our models. I go here to C Strike Models and here we can take all models we want to use. I go to player and I want to use a player model and for example I take the GSG9. Open the MDL and we get this dialog box and we checked all then he exports us or decompiles us the SMD files from the animation, the references, the textures and also the models and now we click on OK and this takes a little time, not much I hope my PC don't crash because that's the fifth or sixth take to recording this tutorial. Okay, now we can check that the decompiler decompiles us the SMD files from the MDL file over File, Import, and Half Life SMD. And now we see in the folder GSG9 some SMD files, and that are the animation. So we can see this on this name like run, swim, tweet water, crouch run and crouch aim and so on. And we can also see the animations with a half-life model viewer. And I open now the model and we go to the thing so you can better see that. And we can now here also take the animations and so we can better check what we import, which animation and so it's easy to control. Now for importing the SMD files um, there exists an Half-Life SMD importer script and I get this link from Repieces on Creative Movies and now I want to show you how this works. You also find on this page pages.videotron.com slash browsers other plugins for example the Quake 3MD 3 exporter and also the Half-Life exporter and importer and something else. Now we use importer because we want to import the models from Counter-Strike 2 3D Studio Max click on OK to download it and yeah it takes some time to download and now we found here our logo, so we don't need this. Then the MCP file, this is the script for 3D Studio Max and of course the README. Now we export the script to our startup folder. This is under 3D Max 8 in the folder scripts and in startup. And we export this to our startup folder. There already exists someone because I tried to record some tutorials with that a little time before before this crash and okay. And now the SMD importer MCP is into our startup and would be loaded automatically in 3D Studio Max. Now I start my 3D Max. Okay. Now we can go to our utilities and go to Max Scripts and we find here if we move a little bit down before I had to open that and we found here into utilities our Half-Life SMD import and move another little bit down and we saw here import SMD file. Now click on it and we go to the GSG folder 
and we saw this different SMD files and we search the GSG9 here and we need at first to import this file like uh, this is also named like the original source the GSG9 MDL and this is our file where we can found the um, polygons of the model and in the other files we only file the animation, the bones. So we import the uh, polygon SMD file at first and we see on the bottom loading and skinning mesh. So we import the skin and the polygons and so on. And now this model stands in T pose. And now we won't animate this because if we move our timeline, nothing happened. That is a T stand. Now go to import SMD and take now an animation which you want to use. For example, we want to use a long jump. Click on it and open. You're loading now the frames. We see this on this bottom console or window, whatever. And now we see this person is crouched and he's jumping. Yeah, and we can also import another SMD file. For example, I take forward. This is a die animation. He's falling forward and he's loading the frames and replace the old one. So we get a new animation and we don't see this animation before. He also changes our project settings of the timeline. We had only 36 frames. So how t how you can use this in Cinema 4D? You can also export this to 3D Studio Max format and then you can import this in Cinema 4D and you get also the bones and the models so you can also use this in other programs like Cinema 4D now I think that was all I want to show you and I hope this tutorial helps you and give me feedback <laughs>